Alright, hello guys. Today in this video we're going to be talking about when you can expect your first snowfall this fall and winter season. Just like our freeze forecast or when you can expect your first freeze. We're going to be doing this in the same fashion as that one. But before I get started with this video though, I would ask you to subscribe if you do like weather related content. And also make sure to check out the links in the description for our social medias. Now let's get right into things. We're going to be starting with the bottom layers and moving our way up. So in this first white layer, you will get snow on average. This is all comparatively to average first things first. So this is your average expected snowfall, first snowfall. And then at the end, we're going to be talking about compared to average what you can expect. But first things first, we're going to be talking about your average. And also at the end, I'm going to talk about why I think these things. But this is your average snowfall. And I had a lot of comments on the freeze one about, oh, this was inaccurate or this was wrong a lot of these maps with your averages are very hard to do for the entire country uh so i'm going based off of other maps that i've seen before obviously i don't know by heart when all areas in the united states can get their average snowfall so i am going based off of other sources if it does look wrong to you and you know your average then you're probably right and i'm probably wrong so you don't have to let me know just take into account that these giant maps for the averages will have some slight inaccuracies for some areas. In some areas, usually within the middle portions of the colors, you'll, you'll be far more accurate for this forecast. But anyway, if you're south or outside of this white area, you most likely will not receive snow on most years. But some years you do. Like we know that sometimes some areas in Florida do get a little bit of snow. As well as some areas like Houston a few years ago got snowfall. So these areas do from time to time get snow. This doesn't mean you won't get snow, but on your average year, you will not receive too much snow whatsoever. Now, the areas within the white on average do receive snow. And if you were pretty far above the white line, you almost always get snow. Uh, now we're going to move on to our second map. And this is the areas within this blue that will get snow before January. So you're going to get snow sometime, sometime from... September or August all the way through to December sometime within that time frame you will most likely get snow if you're in within the white area still then you're going to get snow probably after January so southeast Virginia a lot of North Carolina there a lot of Arkansas all these white regions underneath the blue region will most likely get snow after January now areas within this dark blue we're expecting to see snow before mid-December, so if you're in the light blue shade still, then you might most likely will be getting snowfall in the second half of December on average, so from the 15th till the end of December. That's your average first snowfall, and that's when you could expect it within the light blue. If you're in the dark blue, it will be sometime before mid-December. Now we have an even darker blue here, and these are areas that should expect to see on average snowfall before the 1st of December. So if you're in that medium shade of blue still, then you can expect to see snow from the 1st of December till the 15th of December. Sometime within that first half of December is when your average snowfall occurs. Now we're adding our purple shade. This area will get snowfall before mid-November, meaning that the darker shade of blue there, or the darkest shade of blue, almost a black color, will receive snowfall most likely in the later half of November, so the 15th till the end of, of November. That's when you can expect your first snowfall on average within that dark shade there. Now we're adding this pink region. You will see snowfall before November most likely within these pink regions, so sometime in August, September, or October. That's when you usually see your first snowfall. Notice a lot of those upper, higher elevations in New England as well popping up in this pink. Uh, I just wanted to note that because you might be looking out west, but there is some areas in the east that do see snowfall this early on. And if you're in the purple, this means that you will most likely be seeing your first snowfall in the first half of November. So from the 15th till the middle point of November is most likely when you will be seeing your first snowfall. And last but not least in this red area, You'll most likely get snow before October. Some of these areas on average, the very, very peaks, see their average snowfall begin in August. I, I think there is some limited, very, very high elevation areas that do see their average snowfall, first snowfall in August. But for the most part, most of these areas in the red do see their first snowfall at some point in September. And then within the pink regions, you usually see that, um, you know, in the 
in some point in October there for that pink region. So that's our completed map. Um, I hope that wasn't too confusing. This is kind of a new fashion that I'm doing some videos in where I kind of do one layer at a time. I don't know if it makes it easier or harder to digest, but you guys can let me know. You guys were a fan of it last time, so I tried it once again. I think I did it opposite this time, though. I think I started with the top layers last time. This time I started with the bottom ones, so let me know what you thought. Uh, I think it might be a little bit confusing, but then again, when there's a bunch of stuff all, stuff all over the map, it can be a little bit overwhelming at first. Now, for this orange area here, out west, California, Oregon, Washington, Nevada, uh, Arizona, and some of those southern Rockies, I expect your first snowfall to be later than average for these regions. And again, in a little bit, I'm going to tell you guys why I think that uh, I do have my reasons for that. And then in this blue region that I just added there from the Rockies eastward and uh, kind of like the northern half of those regions in the eastern and central United States, we're going to see our first snowfall sooner than average for a lot of these regions for the, from the northern Rockies eastward into the north central United States, the Great Lakes regions, and the kind of inland mid-Atlantic region as well as the northeast and New England states, we're all going to see our snowfall most likely sooner than average. And here's my reasoning for it. Here's my September forecast. I have above average temperatures basically west of the Rockies out there west. So California, Nevada, Arizona, Oregon, Washington, Idaho, all of these regions are above average temperatures as well as the southeastern United States. That's not really relevant though. Uh, but we do have below average temperatures there for the north central United States, Great Plains of the United States, and the Great Lakes states as well as some of those northeastern regions of the United States. I think all of this will lead to the areas in September. The areas that see snow in September will be a little bit further south than normal. So you're going to see that line be a little bit further south this year than average. So I think in September you can expect some of the areas that expect their first snowfall to be in early October, might see it in later September actually instead. Now also here's my fall forecast and you can see it's kind of a similar story. Rockies eastward is below average with very far below average temperatures there for the north central United States like the Dakotas, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa. These areas are pretty far below average and again west of the Rockies for the northwestern United States we're all above average temperatures. So that's just another reason why I think we'll see below average snowfall out west there and then east of the Rockies. I think we'll see above average snowfall. The temperatures are more favorable of it and I am seeing signs that we could be seeing some snow in the central and northern Rockies very, very soon in the coming days, coming weeks. And also we've seen signs of a clipper system, a small, very northern clipper system that could bring snow to northern Montana, North Dakota, Minnesota. I think we saw a lot of systems like this last fall where we saw snow for the northern portions of those states. Very small amounts of snowfall, but still snowfall nevertheless. And it looks like that could possibly happen again this year. Areas south of the region that I was calling for above average snowfall, you're probably going to see it right on time, probably right around your average is when I'd expect that to happen. Now also, I wanted to mention, we did we do see some signs I saw in the models that we could see some earlier snowfall for the Northeast than we normally would expect, seeing a little bit of snowfall towards the end of September for those very interior and mountainous regions of New England, which would be a little bit ahead of schedule. When we see these cool downs, that's always possible that we get a little bit ahead of schedule. So I think that's very possible. These are all some of the reasons why I think we'll have above average snowfall, or actually better yet, sooner than average snowfall for those regions, uh, possibly in later September or early October. Early October for a lot of those mountainous regions in New England is kind of near your average, but uh, it could happen a little bit earlier than what we're usually used to. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I enjoy bringing all these videos. A lot of you seem to like the winter and fall time videos talking about, you know, cold weather, snowfall, freezes. So, you know, if you guys enjoy that, every time it looks like one of those things is going to happen, I'll be bringing a video for sure. That's what gets the most engagement. That's what you guys want to see. That's what I'll be putting out for you guys always, as well as warm-ups. doesn't get as many views, but still when there's a warm-up coming, I let everybody know. Uh, that's just how we roll. And this winter, if you're new to the channel, last winter we covered a lot of the named winter storms. This winter I expect to cover even more 
winter storms, potentially every single named storm and even storms that are smaller than named storms that aren't worthy of being named. Uh, as I do daily uploads now, I, I think I'm, you know, past the two month mark for my streak on daily uploads. So we're going to be making videos daily. So I don't see why I can't cover every single snowstorm that heads into the United States. So it's going to be exciting this winter, guys. If you aren't subscribed, I highly recommend it. We're going to be talking about snowstorms as they hit this fall and winter. It's going to be a whole lot of fun, and I hope you will be a part of it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.